Hey everybody, how's it going? We are here with a timeless reading. Welcome. Okay, first cards that we have out. Nine of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, and Eight of Swords. Maybe a little trouble in paradise that you're feeling. Nine of Wands is immediately there's some type of challenge that can feel like whatever this is that's popping up, you're exerting a lot of energy towards this and addressing this. Ten of Pentacles feels like this has to do with something that's connected with like home life or your stability or your finances or something that you have, something that you have and that you want to maintain and sort of keep in that way. But you can feel like that's being challenged and that that's why you need to address whatever this is that's popping up. But that it could threaten something or be connected with something that feels very important to you to keep. So there's something where you're like, I don't want this to change or I want to keep it like this or I don't want it to falter. And so that's why you're motivated very much so to be addressing whatever this is that's popping up. But because it's impacting something that feels so important to you to keep a particular way, I'm seeing there be like you can be feeling stuck about this you can be feeling worried about this there can be a, a little bit of like doom and gloom that you're feeling or just um just some anxiety that's popping up for you about figuring this out this doesn't mean that this is needed but it can just be sort of the way that you're responding to this situation like there's a challenge it's connected with something that you could feel like is this threatening this thing that feels very important to me and then like this is just a natural that's how you feel when something like that is happening, you know? Seeing this strength card pop out, I find this to be interesting. In the last reading that I just did, which was for Aquarius, strength card was the only major arcana that popped out and now i'm using a different deck too it's the first major arcana that's popping out within the reading strength is connected with leo you may not be feeling great about something right now but what you're not seeing is that there's an opportunity So this is moving through something, even though it's very challenging for you right now on a mental level, and this is also breaking yourself out of whatever limitation you're like putting yourself within. It looks like these are not the most ideal circumstances for you to be working within. So that's definitely being recognized here. But having strength is your guides being like, listen, you got this. You just need to, you need to have hope. Just maintain your hope. Keep looking forward. Things are definitely going to work out, even though you can be looking at this and be like, how is that possible? Or like, is it really? It is. Definitely. Mm. The other major arcana that we have out here is Aquarius. And I'm also seeing Libra on the bottom of the deck. You're in a situation where it may be difficult for you to like keep the faith or like maintain it or like keep the hope, but it's very, very important that you do remain hopeful and keep looking forward. You could have also been struggling too, feeling like you didn't necessarily have the energy, but I'm seeing you're gonna get like an energy boost to move through the rest of this. Yeah, things are definitely, look at this. Things are definitely gonna work out, okay? This is something that may feel like a super challenging circumstance that you're moving through. I'm hearing quietly. Some of you may be dealing with this on your own. What I'm seeing is that things are about to get very, very happy and things are definitely about to be working out. Just remain 
remain as grounded as possible and make sure that you're tending to to whatever's going on mentally for you it's like the basis it's going to help you big time with handling and managing the tricky stuff emotionally for you right now and also mentally do not be doing anything from a reactive space Just keep, keep addressing things in a way that feels practical to you and also recognize when you're feeling grounded versus when you're not feeling grounded and do not be making like any big choices when you get to a point where you feel ungrounded. Yeah. This seems very much like all of the efforts that you're putting in are to keep something, keep something in a stable position, but you could feel like things are sort of moving all over the place. Connect with your, connect with your feelings about this. I'm seeing the Empress and I'm seeing Page of Cups here. And this feels like through, through a space of you being within an element of your prime energy, you're gonna feel reconnected in a way where you may be feeling there's, you may be feeling a little bit, a lack of connection with a part of yourself that feels good to be connected to. So because of like all the stress and worry that's connected with the position and like the challenging position that you're in right now, you can be like, like, I feel worried about this because it's something that's really important to me for this thing to remain stable because I feel like everything functions around that within my life. So to have that particular thing be challenged, of course, there's going to be a lot of emotional stuff that comes up because of that because you don't want to, you don't want something to impact negatively the things that you hold a sense of like value towards. Strength is your guides being like, yes, you may be feeling really in your head. You could be feeling anxious. You could be feeling worried. You could be feeling stuck. All of these things that you could be feeling. Strength is telling you, you got this. Strength is also connected over here with the five of pentacles, which is you being like, how is this going to work out? Or this is like really, these are unideal conditions to be working within. And having the star here is like, you need to just keep the faith as you're moving through this because it's really going to be working out for you. And this isn't on some, like, like your guide's just telling you this and this being delusional. It's like legitimately going to work out. I'm, I'm seeing what's going to be happening energetically for you. You just need to keep working through this because you're going to get a very ideal outcome. And that's why you need to keep tending to this. Do not give up. You're just within a karmic challenge right now. This is like a, this is like a spiritual energetic thing that you're within right now. And it's also shedding light on what is most valuable to you as well. And about you needing to be reflective of the stability that you want to see reflected back towards you. On an emotional level, you keeping it together through your ability to manage and care for your, your whole experience of feeling. And that that's also going to be, that stability is going to be reflected to you as far as this thing that you want to maintain and keep. Although you may be feeling stuck, your guides are saying all you need to do is just take practical baby steps and that's what's going to help. This is about focusing on the harmonics of the situation. And it seems to like this is a challenge that Again, is doing something that's connected with your stability or you feeling like you're not in the most ideal position right now. And because of you being in that space, you're like, how am I supposed to work from here? How am I supposed to do anything from this spot where you could feel like you're at quite a disadvantage right now? 
But rather than focusing on like how you're limited or what you can't do, this is about you focusing on like your plans ahead, on what you do have, on keeping the faith, keeping the hope, like looking forward and just trusting the process of this to allow yourself to reconnect with an energy that feels empowering rather than you focusing on all the things that you perceive as being disempowering. So this is like focusing on what you can do rather than what you can't do or focusing on what you do have and what you can be working with rather than what you don't have or what you aren't working with. But the things that you don't, the reason why you don't have those things is because whatever this is that you perceive like not having or why this feels unideal to you, you don't need those things. You have everything that you need to be able to work through this, but by you focusing on like, I don't have this, so how am I supposed to do it? You need to shift your, shift your mind frame over to what you do have and what you're working with because those are the things. It's like your guide's telling you to build something and they give you like a bunch of stuff to build with, but you're focused on what's not there. And so you're not even working with the stuff that you do have. And that's really going to help you because this is, it's like a challenge for you because you're being challenged to sort of like expand yourself and see things as a resource that you may not have been seeing as a resource before. Because you may be used to having certain resources or certain things available or access to certain things that right now you don't have. And it's your guides being like, for some of you, this is going really, really far on an energetic level. And this is you being like, well, how am I supposed to do this without like the money that I need or stuff that's like actually in 3D and your guides are like, things are actually going to fall into place in like an energetic sense where you're thinking that you may need something that feels very basic and practical and you actually don't even need that thing because it's gonna come through in another way. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of um, this story of, it's from somebody that, it's from somebody that channels and they were talking about how if you're if you're like following your passion and you're following your highest excitement, things are just going to work out in the way that they need to be working out. And so somebody can be like, I want to I want to like travel the world and take pictures, but because I don't have the money, I'm not able to do that. And the story was about how somebody was like, it's gonna work out in some way and so let me think outside of the box here. I may not have the money and basically what they did is that they went to the, the travel agency or they went to like the airport or whatever and they were like, if you give me a free plane ride to this spot, I will take pictures and then I can put them on brochures for you. And then they were able to get that plane, like a, a ticket both ways for free. And they didn't have to pay for it with actual like money because they were paying for it in a different way. Like there was a different type of transaction that was happening. So this for you, and that's just like an example of what I'm seeing going on here. You may think like, I don't have that thing, but your guides are actually, you have the other resources that you need for this. You have everything that you need for this, but if you're focused on what you don't have and you're limiting yourself and being like, this is the only way to create this thing, you're completely disregarding everything over here that your guides have given you. And they're like, it's time for you to expand. It's time for you to be more creative and to also trust that and put faith in the fact that you do already have everything you need. You just need to connect with that part of yourself that's like thinking outside of the box in this way. And that's how you're going to be able to figure this out. That's really all that's needed here. And it makes sense too, like having this Aquarian energy connected with Venus is very much like like thinking outside of the box with what you're creating and what you're making. And the Leo energy is also very creative as well. And the thing too about the Leo and the Aquarian energy as these are the only major arcanas here is that these are sister signs and so they're like opposite from one another but they're really like two sides of the same coin. This part of you though, that may see yourself in this position, which again, like this is a position where we feel like these are not ideal conditions. I'm really struggling right now. Like how am I supposed to make this work? This person like very much feels like, a, like trying to problem solve with what it is that you have. When you find yourself in that situation and you're like feeling badly for yourself, this isn't gonna work. They didn't give me what I needed. I'm not gonna be able to figure this out. It's just like your ego that's coming up in this way. 
and you feeling like the world is against me now, like things really don't work out for me. It's like that sort of thing. And this is why your guides are like, stop focusing on that. You need to focus on this other pile of stuff that we've given you. And that's all you need to actually be able to work this out and work it through. But again, like as long as you're focused on that lack, on what you don't have, you're gonna stay stuck here. Cause this is about you. That's what the whole like energetic challenge is that you're going through right now is to bring bring your focus in another onto another thing that is not centered around the lack that you're perceiving because i'm seeing very much something that when you figure this out you're going to be like oh but until you're in one of these positions you're not really forced to think outside of the box or to try new things or to use different types of resources or do something a different way than you're used to so this is really, really helping you to expand, but you have to be open to the expansion. And for those of you that are more like, this is gonna limit me or make me smaller and focused on that, it's going to make it much more challenging and this is gonna be a much slower process for you. So if you want to speed this up, you have to be looking for like the opportunities and also what you have to work with it. Cause there's nothing that you don't have that you need. You have everything that you need. It's just about connecting with this part of yourself. And also maybe bringing a bit more levity into this as well. Selling this part that you're acting out currently. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.